Hi, Brent here with uh, Hot Jet, and we're going to go over the safety and operation of our Hot Jet 3 package, a twin engine, hot and cold. Um, we've got it set up so that you can run it with just cold water or hot water through the unit, one engine, two, two engine unit, either way. Um, we've got our pulsator valves here for busting clogs and uh, that sort of thing so on our safety you want to make sure that you've got your eye protection good gloves boots make sure you go over all your safety stuff in on there so that you are not getting yourself in trouble there and go through with all of your employees and make sure they've gone through all that um, we've got uh, our fill unit this one is just a fast fill so you can hook up to hydrants we have them with a fill hose for garden accessibility this is the hot uh, operation for the twin hot hot and cold water units show you how to fire them up um, you want to make sure that you have your water turned on for your tanks there's one on each side it's a three-way valve you want it to make sure your tank is open flow into the pumps for the remote, you'll turn this light here on, that so you can fire it up. You'll have your keys turned off and your heater button turned off, and it all works from the remote. So you click it once, and that sets the engine. You just get that, and that'll fire that one up. The second engine, hit that, and that'll fire that one up. This is for if you want to run your hot water, you have that open and that will run it through the coil so that you have your hot water working. If you don't need to use hot water, you can turn that off and that might pass through the coil. So you're just running straight cold water. These are your pulsator valves. If you have a clog, you need to hammer it. You can open them and that will pulsate it to help break up the clog. Back here we have the uh, easy start valve. You make sure that it's open. So that's running the water through the bypass back here too. So you don't have a, it's a, just an extra feature so that you don't hurt or damage your uh, valves on these. This has got your valve for the 3 8 hose here. The other side's for the half inch, it's over there. Here we have your soap. So when you want to run soap, just turn that and open it up. You can run your soap through. When you're ready to turn the soap off, turn it off. You can keep running until the soap's clear so that when you hit the bypass, the soap won't go back into the tank. So we have our hose here. Right now we're just, oh, this is your power wash hose. When you want a power wash, you have a hose attachment. Hook it on there. You can power wash or run the foot pedal system through there for going into the house to running lines so that you don't have to run your sewer hoses into the house in there. Can run this one. This is the half inch with the 3A hose with the warthog and we're set up to do the half inch line so we'll show you the half inch. So we can, uh, this is our, your throttle controls tachometer so you can take that up and it'll get you to where you want to go. Run up about 3,000 is the max. You got your hose in there. Turn this on. Then you shut that. That stops the bypass.
and about 3,500 psi. Okay, we're going to go over the pre-startup of, of starting it. So we're going to assume that you don't have the antifreeze set up right now. We'll go over that at the end. So in the pre-startup, you with the remote, you want to have the keys turned off, the heater button turned off, but you do want to have your uh, control turned to where you're going to want it set at. That's all right over there. We've got our valve turn so that the heater will work through the system. You want to make sure that you've got your easy start valve turned on in the back and your main valve turned off. So you got your easy start over here and your main valve there. So here you're flowing through so you have less pressure off and this is on so you just have that on you have your valve turned off on your large reel you've got the same thing your large reel valve there and you still use that whether you have your 3 8 or your half inch line we have our soap valve here so when you want to soap you just crank that open run your soap when you get done turn that off let the soap all run out of the line before you're done saves from getting soap back flowing into your tank so you make sure you have your water in your tank your valves are turned on so that you're getting water to your pumps have your throttle turned down so that it's not revving when you start it and we'll kick it on hit your button once that sets the starting procedure hit it again now you're working there you've got your tacks here to show you where to adjust your throttles just adjust that till you get up to how you want it and you can adjust your about your uh, speed from here now we're going to feed our line we'll put our warthog on have uh, tiger tails that you can put in there to, to protect your hoses you just put that in there like that and that'll protect your hose on the angles and on the edges of the pipe so you want to hold on to your hose here you're gonna turn on your valve that engages it Turn off your easy start here. Now you can adjust your throttle up. You've got your pressure gauge. You're maxed out at 3,500 psi and 3,000 RPMs.
going uh, full bore you can turn your heater on your third button just hit that now your heaters on you have uh, controls speed controls on your hose reels for retrieving the back so you don't go too fast or too slow button here and that kicks the heat off by the remote let it cool down so that the coil won't get too overheated when you turn it off okay we're gonna throttle down a little bit Turn our easy start valve on. We'll shut our valve off. You can push your throttle button in with that button there and that'll bring it down to idle. Okay. We're going to show you the foot pedal setup now so that you can do your small lines inside the house. Now you're all set up, you're in the house, you've got your uh, everything running outside, you got your foot pedal here. Just foot activate it, and now you can clean. Turn your heater back on and jet out the smaller lines in the house. Just let off and it shuts off out in the on the trailer and back flows. Then you can kill your engine, release the pressure. Now you're all ready to set it back up and reel it in. Okay, we're gonna run the uh, half inch line now. So both engines will be going and if you want hot water, you can have this in the on position here. Or if you don't want the hot, just turn that up and it goes without the hot. So we'll come back here. Again, you wanna make sure that your easy start valve is in the on position like that. And then after it's running, then you'll turn it off like that. It's in the on position. We've got our valve over here off. We're going to go ahead and start the first engine again. Start the second engine. We've got our line in. 
we'll go ahead and open up our valve now. Turn off the easy start. And we can throttle up. down now you can turn off your engine hit the stop button that kills both engines now we're going to show you the vacuum system that w comes with this so we uh, open up our hose line here and we've got our, our uh, gun hooked up Put that down in there. <laughs> Have our easy start valve off. Have your gun trigger engaged so that you can start it here. Hit your green button. Adjust your volume up so that it will uh, drain out 55 gallons in a minute. And that's just idling. Good way to drain uh, flooded basements and things. Now we'll go ahead and antifreeze it. You're going to turn your water lines to the antifreeze position. So you flip both of the antifreeze lines over <clears throat> on both sides. Takes care of both engines. Start the engine, we'll have this open. Your easy start valve off. We're going to turn it on and run it until you see the antifreeze color come through.
it yet. <laughs> So there's the blue, so you hit your valve off, that puts it through the loader. You also want to do your uh, pulsator valve. That'll pulsate and get the water through there. We've got the heater turned on so it's gone through the coils. So we can turn that off. Open up the valve over here. Turn on the second engine. And you're gonna do the same with that. As Soon as you see the blue, then you uh, turn this one off. Kick that, that'll set the loader. Then you can turn off the engine, open up the loader to release the pressure, and it's fully antifreezed. Thank you. To recapture the antifreeze when you're ready to start up your vehicle or your unit, you hook your hose up to your storage. After you're done running, you'll hook it up to your storage holder. So for traveling, you've got that tied in there so it's not gonna come out and go down the road. So you've got your hose hooked up we have a return line that comes through here, runs up to the antifreeze tank here. So now when you're ready to fire it up again, you're going to want to turn, have your water in your tank, turn your tank valve so that now you're going to draw water from the tank. So you got both of those on. Now you're going to open up your valve line here and start the motor. see the clear liquid start coming through then that one's ready and you're gonna shut it off and you're gonna repeat the process with the half inch line until you've sent all your antifreeze back in to your storage tank thank you